So today we're going to be talking about the prices of new cars, the 2018s, and how they just prove that buying a brand new car is a total scam. So first and foremost, before I get rolling, if you're new to the podcast or the YouTube channel, definitely consider subscribing or following however rules on podcasts. I don't personally listen to too many podcasts, but definitely follow on there if you're listening to the podcast. But anyways, let's get right to it. So there's a total difference between someone whose net worth is, say, like five, ten million dollars plus versus someone who's just like most of America, just making about 30 to 50, somewhere around there, 1,000 or even 100,000 a year, who's in debt, getting out of debt, just fresh out of debt, just someone who doesn't have an overall big net worth. You get what I'm saying. But the whole thing with buying a brand new car, that's why I mentioned the whole net worth thing. If your net worth is like five, 10 million plus, then go ahead, buy whatever car you want. It's still stupid, but if you notice people that tend to be rich and smart with money, they're not driving a brand new car. Usually they're driving a two to four year old somewhere around their car. That's still very nice. They look like new cars still because the people that are owning them treat them like they're new. But anyways, for most people, buying a new car is a total scam. I just pulled up the Ford website on my laptop here because I was just curious. I'm always curious about what the new cars, how new, like what they changed on these new cars and all that good stuff. And I recently had a 2014 Ford Focus. So it's now a four years old, four year old car. And I was like, I wonder how different versus the price. Like, what's the difference exactly? And just to put in perspective, my car at a 2014 with about 45,000 miles on it was worth $8,000. That's what I sold it, sold it for is about $8,100. Um, Kelly Blue Book shows you can get about seven five to nine for it somewhere on there. But I settled for $8,100 just because I wanted to pay it off, get that payment out of my life, and moved on to a cheaper car. But anyways, point being, the brand new, the exact car is... $20,000 and this is before any interest and because like this is at a zero yes a zero percent interest $171 per month on average um, so for most people you're looking at at least at least a 200 plus month car payment like I was paying on mine at a 2014 but for how long I think 72 months or maybe longer I don't see the exact month on here but anyways it just says 171 per month and starting at to be exact, $19,150. So starting at, that's not including your state taxes, your sales tax, just all that good, happy BS that you have to pay when buying a car. So you're looking at north of 20000 close to 22000 just for this car. And this is just a plain Jane base model for Focus SE. This is just one example, keep in mind. So don't even imagine the other ones that are selling for like forty, fifty thousand when you start getting into trucks, diesels, and so on. That just goes crazy after that. Obviously a truck tends to hold its value more, but that's a whole nother topic. But just put this in perspective, a twenty thousand dollar car in four years drops down and my 2014 Focus was in excellent shape, had low miles for its year by about 10,000 miles. So, I mean, it was an excellent, it was in excellent condition and could only get about eight grand for it. So the car goes from worth about $20,000 down to eight in just about three or four years, literally just dead on four years. So that means the car depreciated about, like average, about 60% its first four years. So if you're wondering, now just imagine, let's imagine that 10000 or so that you lose in those four years, imagine if you invested that every, not every year, let's just say you invested that 10000 every four years. Just say break that up into four years, you invest, what would that be, like 2500 every year. Say you invested that money that you're losing into a basic mutual fund at 10 to 15% rate of return you'd have a lot of money. I'm not, I don't know the exact numbers on that, just kind of threw those numbers off the top of my head, but the 10 to 15% is average. The average is actually around 12 to 13%, but that's a whole nother topic. But just imagine if you invested all that money that you lost, you literally just sat that money on fire in four years and it burned for four years just because you wanted a brand new car. And guys, look at this Ford Focus. I had, for those of you that are on YouTube, look at that. It didn't change. It, it's the same car. I mean, literally, the wheels might have changed. I mean, but overall, it is the same exact car. It's the same exact motor. Still gets roughly 30 miles per gallon. Nothing has changed with this car. So why would you go spend another 10, 12 plus thousand dollars? Also, you're losing money on interest. 
I mean, what? Just I don't get it. I, I mean, I did. I mean, I never had a brand new car. At least I was smart enough to get a car that was three years old. But just imagine if you took that 171 a month. And instead of investing in something that's going down in value, invest it in something going up in value. It's just a small mental, just a different mindset that you have to develop if you want to become not just wealthy, but rich. I'm not talking just a couple hundred grand in the bank. I'm talking millionaire status. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to develop millionaire habits. And I tell you what, millionaires do not have car payments. I guarantee you that. You know why? Because they walk in with cash and say, this is how much I'm paying for this. Do we have a deal? They don't sit there and haggle and talk about interest and talk about... Um, Extend the warranties onto the loan. They they don't do any of that BS. They walk in there with their money. They say, this is what I'll pay for. Do we have a deal? And then, boom, they get their deal. Yes, cars continue to lose value to a certain degree. Usually, they bottom out after about four to six years. So, I mean, why do you think most people... I'm not talking your celebrities and all that. Of course, they are multi-millionaires. Like I said, you get to multi-millionaire status, buy whatever car you want. Because, I mean, most of them, their net worth is like 50 million plus. Once you get a net worth like 20 million plus... Buy whatever you want. But for most of us that just want to retire with like $10 million or just for some people even just break the millionaire status, you have to be smart with your money. And that is not, a car is not an asset. A car is a liability. It's losing value. If you were to wreck it, your insurance company, yeah, they send you a check, but then guess what? Your check, your insurance is going to go through the roof. I mean, just cars are liabilities. They're not assets. Obviously, the situation is slightly different with trucks but i'm not even gonna get into that because trucks are still a liability at the end of the day just the whole point of this podcast and video was just to just shine a light on the fact that buying new cars for average americans are scams you should definitely not do it i mean it's not necessarily a scam scam might be going a little too far because i mean you're scamming yourself at the end of the day the the dealerships they're in it to make money if you don't make money you can't keep the lights on keep people employed so i mean it's not their fault that you go in there and buy a brand new car that you can't afford but in your mind it's a scam i mean literally who in their right mind seeing these numbers, anyone with common sense in their brain, anyone that has any sort of common sense would look at these numbers and say, who the hell would do that? But millions of Americans do it every single year, and guess what? 2018 models or 19, is 19 coming out soon? I don't, I don't know. I don't keep tracks. I don't care. I buy cars that are five years plus older all the time. But millions of Americans will go out and buy these brand new cars and sit there and scratch their head like monkeys and wonder why, oh, why, don't, why am I broke? Why am I living paycheck to paycheck? Well, your car is literally sitting out, sitting outside, staring at your window going, you're stupid, you're stupid, because it's losing value. Invest in stuff that brings value that is an actual asset. Your house, debatable if it's an asset. It's an asset in the essence that it will tend to gain value, but if you're in debt or you have horrible interest, most people don't have horrible interest. I'm starting to ramble, that's a whole nother topic. But anyways, I just want to shine this light on. I shined it on my website. Um, that's another thing. If you are new or just been following me for a little bit, I recently launched my website. I'll link it down in the description. It's millennialmotivationentrepreneur.com. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video and podcast, everyone. I just wanted to shine this light on this because... I mean, this could literally, this very small, just mental shift in how you look at buying cars, assets versus liabilities, it will literally change your future on retirement. It will be the difference between are you retiring at 60 or 70 or possibly never, or are you going to retire and maybe if you watch this young enough in your 20s or even teens, you can develop good habits and retire and maybe, 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 just maybe even your 30s, 40s or early 50s at the latest with however much money you can make and invest the right way at the end of the day. That's pretty much for this video and podcast, everyone. Like I said, if you're new to the channel or podcast, definitely consider following, subscribing, do your thing. And if you liked it, definitely make sure to smash the like button for those of you on YouTube. And like I said, if you haven't headed over to the website yet, it'll be in the description box, millennialmotivationentrepreneur.com. But until next time, guys, keep making 2018 that best financial year. Change everything up this year. Let's go win with money, and I'll see you guys in the next podcast or video.